Uh, my, my name is Joe and I've been uh, working on, on GIMP for seven years now. Um, so I just present two of the features that I've been working on uh, this year. And uh, so it's also thanks to these people because uh, since uh, September uh, I've been uh, uh, hired by CNRS to actually so it's to, uh, to help promote and uh, help GIMP work. So the features uh, I've been working on, it. so it's smart correlation which is based on one of the big um, um, algorithm. So everybody knows the here. Yeah. So it's like it's a plugin uh, which uh, no, it's, it's a software by itself also, and it's also a plugin uh, in game and Krita. And I think uh, this one of the program. Uh, in my program, it's like basically a bunch of filters, and uh, it's made by CNRS, which is a uh, national center of uh, science research in France. Okay, and this is uh, University of Sikang and the University of Unicamp, which is University of Sikang, also like um, kind of the same group. Okay, and uh, originally I was working, and I'm still working as a volunteer for the Lila Association. And on the mammoth project, which also helped for these features, uh, to like with Ariel here, with who is the director of the mammoth, and um, she had like basically input uh, like when it was wrong and when it was not usable, which uh, which often happens when you're a developer, you think your idea is great and uh, then it's not usable. <laughs> and uh, so basically, so the first feature uh, I worked on was uh, which is now in GIMP to ten ten. Uh, so it's already exists and usable in, in a stable radius, which is so the field by line map detection, which often is called smart correlation. Even though it's not actually smart, it's like it's not actually recognizing anything. It's not it's not a human entity. So but yeah. So like basically the problem to solve is like you want to colorize drawings. So it's really it's a feature called it's really a feature for paper, it's not for photography or something like that. Uh, so you have this, and uh, so there are two problems. So yeah, so like, we have the bucket field too. Maybe everybody can think of this one so much. But when you draw the uh, bucket field too, like there are two main problems I can see of. One that if you have holes in your drawings, because it doesn't recognize that I wanted to make a circle here. And uh, so basically, the tall leaks outside, and the uh, uh, second issue is that like you have this. Um, I mean, yeah, you can see it, it's a real kind of white pixels. So, um, so like uh, but if you tool like as like right now two algorithm, which one is just fill wall selection. If you have a selection, you can fill it fills a pixel in it. Uh, I value and field simulators which is what people really think of so this basically when you click somewhere and it feels like the neighbor pixel if from the start point if it's considered that the next door is close enough so uh, here okay here like so how do you say it's close enough but you have a strict shot like 22 and like you click on the wall the white here, content somewhere, and it fills. But the, one of the problems, which is why there is a lot of like whitish pixel on the side, but here it says it's, it's, it's not uh, close enough. So uh, in the end, it makes some kind of ugly stuff. Like, uh, and like when, when you people actually polarize with all style methods, that we were what I was doing mostly is like you use uh, like a fuzzy select. Inside and then you grow the selection uh, by one or two pixel. It depends on, on, on your stroke, and then you can fill this selection. Uh, so we kind of improve this by a script, which does several steps of quantity, but still longer. So like uh, this is the algorithm. Uh, what what how, how, it, how was the result from the same example? For well, first of all, you, you see can see even there was a hole, it didn't leak out. And, uh, and there's no like whitish, ugly, because actually it just that kind of uh, 
overflows a little under the uh, dark uh, line pixels, basically. So, okay, that's the algorithm. And, uh, it's actually a very simple algorithm, it's, it's, uh, which is very nice, and was, what, that's also why it's quite fast. So basically, okay, when uh, I have a microphone here, so, um, so what, what it does, kind of, we use, we detect what is a line up by, it's just color stuff. So basically, it's very st stupid. Basically, if it's black, we say it's line up, and we, we don't use the grays at all. And then after this, we detect endpoints by the curvature of, uh, so the curve basically of uh, of um, of local curvature of each point. So and then so basically when it's very high curvature like here and here, so like say oh that's probably a main point. And then it just tries to, to make lines between points. So it's that's that's like uh, an internal representation which is never seen by people. But that's basically how it transforms the image. So you see, it's, as you can see, it's nothing like clever. You don't recognize a dog or a tree or whatever and just try to, to fill endpoints and uh, to link them, which actually is enough to because you can recognize basic, uh, I, it just works when we, after when we do it. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it looks like fun like but in the end, I will, I will make it small, you know. So we have, uh, improved a bit, I mean, not me alone, with people from Gemi, uh, the algorithm, uh, because there, was some, there were some issues with the original paper, like uh, when you have very fat lines, it could not be because you say, oh, they, there was no big curvature here. Here, yeah, you consider, like, it was too, too big, but then we used, like, local, uh, um, local curvature, so to say, like, here, it's, it's actually not, it's big curvature, uh, small one, right? small, but uh, locally it's actually big, so we still kind of uh, it is. So that's an improvement of the algorithm in the compared to the research paper. And uh, so, like, you can see, like, an example with small astronaut new, and here is this full device of field, the common, and that's just black like stuff, so it's very, it should be very easy. But still, we don't care. You can see here it's like this ugly white stuff, and here it just feels nicely. So, so in GIMP, um, we had so I, we, the, the how, how I implemented this. I didn't make a new tool because I thought we have. I mean, new tools are good, but when we can, it's better to not add so many new tools. But after we get lost and. Uh, so I decided to like add a new option in the budget field tool. So like there is a field selection, the uh, original uh, field uh, by a uh, similar color, and we add like the field by line mass detection. So, so then it's not depending on the image say, it's not like instant compared to the other algorithm. So we did some comp we do some computation in the background, basically all the whole like intermediate stuff here. This is actually done to be done as fast as possible, as soon as possible. And uh, also I improved a uh, bit the interaction in the docket filter. I all this to be like click and hold. Because uh, as you saw, that's the problem of all segmentation here. So if we had to click and discover what the area which have been created internally by uh, the algorithm it will be slow. So I just click and then when, um, and I will make a demo now. So, so like, sorry, I, I'm not the one who draw usually. Okay. Well, uh, it's hard to draw. <laughs> Okay, I feel this is like probably because of the it's some kind of parallax issue because of the I think the, the double screen. Ah. Yeah, 
it's completely true. Okay. Uh, I will watch this. Okay, so like, let's say, let's give some balls. <laughs> that's that's uh, our cat, Mia. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> don't judge me. So it's not perfect, because I don't know which hole maybe it is. Mm. Or I will just cheat it. Ah, sorry. <laughs> cheat, cheat a bit, but... Uh, yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, except, except on this one. It was kind of okay, and I didn't want to get... Actually, uh, fast. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, so it has some limitations, but it's, it's a digital painting tool. Okay, so it's. I mean, if you load a photograph and try to do something, filming something, it won't. Uh, probably do much anything interesting, but who knows, maybe. So some people always have, have ideas to use some tool which are not made for this. And uh, right now the algorithm basically is only like, uh, what is my map is basically a dark pixel. I mean, it's a, a several dark pixels together. So uh, if you were to draw like a white on dark background, uh, it would not work. Uh, Currently, maybe we could have a. Uh, uh, it's, it would be easy to have like maybe a um, you know, notion to say, oh, I want my line arts to be actually white or whatever, or red, or uh, with a threshold or whatever. But right now it's just simple. Okay? Um, it could be more optimized. Like here was like, it was quite fast, but uh, well, it's just a bit more almost full HD stuff. Here, yeah. like 2000, uh, like 2100. But when, uh, like, sometimes I am also with very huge images and uh, um, uh, lot, lot more drawing in here, and it can be a bit slow. So, what I can show you, okay, here it actually was recomputing the stuff all the time because I was on the same layer, but actually, uh, you, that's, that's why actually you can, like, usually you, you <coughs> when you, paint, you colorize, you paint in one layer, you make your layer below it, and then I can say here, I have no idea how to it. Okay. You can tell here what's the source layer, which is uh, line arts. So it's like the layer above, and then you colorize on the layer below. 
then it doesn't have to recompute all the time. So which means you compute only once uh, uh, internal representation, which makes it seem faster. So even when you have very big images and if it takes uh, a few seconds to, to compute an uh, internal representation. Because a few seconds can be used when, when you know you want to work fast. So 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 yeah, to so maybe optimize more I think at some point. Color borders like I don't say about that uh, like the color uh, the borders are updated, you know. So that's the kind that's the kind of stuff when you develop code you say, oh yeah it works and uh, my circle is complete but uh, then I don't say the, yeah but uh, it's okay. <laughs> so, so that's kind of stuff which right, right now the uh, algorithm, I, I added some uh, like FISA edge, but it's still, it's still not like the same as actually when, when she even has some drinks sometimes when after the colorization she will remove the lights actually and just sometimes you, know, you do this kind of stuff, I don't know if, I don't have an example in this. So you need to have nice lights, basically. And for this, basically, you need to draw the brush and everything to have basically the kind of textures you want. So that's the kind of stuff which this tool doesn't do. And uh, other segmentation can be an issue. That's like a, a real example from one of Ion's drawing. And why it doesn't do this? It's because uh, she, she often uses... We don't really see it here well, because it's far and it's kind of blurry, I don't know. But she, the brush she uses is like kind of very uh, like a fuzzy brush. It's not like a round brush and stuff. So the algorithm sees too many endpoints basically everywhere. Like uh, so, it tries to like, and then you have so here you really if you want to fill it, you fill it like this. It's uh, it's uh, this kind. Of, so it depends. Like sometimes on some on some drawing, it can still be not perfect. So actually, you can also just disable here with the maximum line gap length. You put it to zero, and and if you have no holes, you can use this like this, and then it's instant. You have you still have like the overflowing under the line art, but you don't have a gap detection, which is a slow part, and then you don't have the other segmentation issues. So actually, you can still use it like this even if you have like a, a like complicated. Brushes. Okay, so it's actually a simple algorithm. It's not like uh, um, uh, neural networks or, or stuff like this, but uh, it works well. And um, uh, I think that's, and it's quite fast compared to a lot of uh, smart polarization uh, algorithms. So it's, it's, I think it's very nice. So, yeah, that's it for this first feature, which is in game now, so you can even try it if you take the last. So the second one I've been working on, and actually I started even before, but I kind of stopped to make smart polarization, and that's actually how uh, CNRS decided like that I could be a, a good fit to work for them because it, it will help gaming. Um, every people wants to to make uh, plugins and other kind of extensions. So what I call extensions basically only any data which can go in game. So like plugins, scripts and receive, but like scenes. We have people like right now when when you want to make a new scene, proper scene or icons for game or stuff like that, they just like say, go on Twitter and they and they say, Oh look at my uh, cool icon set and I'm like, oh what can we download this? And I'm like so you have to find it on some website and you have to put it to unzip it in some folder and everything. So you can share brushes or flash or whatever, dynamics, uh, fonts, whatever. And so the idea is that, so uh, yeah, so that's a sad state. Like right now we have like a data system, a lot of data system in game. So plugins, brushes, whatever. But it's very hard to share them. We used to have a registry, registry.team.org, but it's dead now. Uh, the website is down for like, has been gone for a few years. And anyway, even when it was not done, it was like filled with, it was like basically a maintain and filled, which is why it was put it down, uh, filled with spam and everything and no, no kind of uh, uh, security check or whatever. So, yeah, so basically now it's searching plugins. 
plugin and everything and uh, installing it is annoying and uh, you can have permission issue, I mean you unzip it. Okay. Two minutes. Okay, so I will go fast. So basically the idea, okay, I want to make the model. Um, we use, we want to be able, like, it's like Firefox. Uh, you want to be able to search your plugins so with keywords and uh, not only play, only extension, oh, I want brushes for funny stuff or whatever. And, uh, and you want to be able to install, uninstall, uh, uh, just uh, temporarily uh, disable it. And you want it to, to manage, uh, you know, dependency. So basically, someone, you could say, oh, that's not working for plugin, uh, for game, this version, this version. So basically, it's just meta beta, uh, all this. So it's just people, we will ask people, to add the metadata and, and they can publish on, on, the, on, on the new registry. Uh, we will have to see with Pat Daniel with this uh, because we have to make like a website and everything. And, uh, and then you, you should be able to get a notification because, um, uh, and updates for your extensions because that's also one problem. People install stuff and maybe at least a developer of the plugin still continue to update it, but uh, you still have like a five year old and you have no idea because you have no version right now. And uh, yeah, I don't need to make demo, but I won't have time. Uh, yeah, one of the main challenge for this project is, uh, is uh, will be code review. <coughs> and, uh, I think that will involve community and everything because especially for plugin, they, if we want to allow people to upload the plugin, well, it means also, and, Install using the plugin, you also it can be used for malicious code and everything, you know, which people can install. And that's probably actually the main challenge, which is not really a code challenge for me, but probably for we will have to make this well on the other side. And, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so what is the short way to look at this? Yeah, I have a, like, well, okay, so for instance, here, yeah, like, some okay, test. Yeah, you can add the brushes. Oh yeah, I have my beautiful uh, brushes which have yeah, like flower and hot and uh, an extension. And uh, yeah, basically, and then you want to be able to search extensions and uh, but yeah, don't have time. So. I did it myself yesterday. Don't hurt me. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's basically it. I have the time. Um,